Cuyahoga County and the city of Cleveland standing together to fight rising COVID-19 cases. Together, they issued a stay-at-home advisory that went into effect today. This is an advisory. It's not an order. This is not a mandate. But city and county leaders say if residents take these recommendations seriously, we can combat the surge and avoid a strain on our hospitals and our health care workers. Jesse Schultz live for us tonight. Jesse, there's still a lot of questions here about whether this is going to be enforced and what that exactly means for local businesses. Yeah, county and city officials are asking that people take personal responsibility to help stop the spread by staying at home. But restaurant owners I spoke to say this is just another blow to an already hurting industry. Boris Music, the owner of Hansa Brewery in Cleveland, has had the doors open and the beers flowing for four decades. I fell in love with America. I could never dream that anything like this could happen in this country. But news of the stay-at-home advisory for Cuyahoga County has him worried. They never cut a paycheck. Uh, they don't understand what it means when a, a worker loses a job that supports a family. Worried things will soon go from bad to worse. This is just terrible. Tony Coase from Terrestrial Brewing Company has that same fear. How do we make it work? How do we survive through this? You know, and sure, everybody wants to come out and support, but then, you know, they're being told not to in a way. Cuyahoga County Executive Armand Budish says the stay-at-home order is not a mandate, it's a message. People need to understand that we're at a point where if this continues, we will not have capacity in the hospitals to treat people that need help. The Board of Health's resolution says people are advised only to leave their homes to go to school or work for essential needs like picking up food or going to the grocery store and for emergency medical care. They also advise people not to travel in and out of the state and to not have people over for Thanksgiving and the rest of the holiday season. But there isn't any type of enforcement for people not following the advisory. This is something that people have to do in order to protect themselves, their family, their friends. You know, you're not going to have, uh, you know, police officers going to check on Thanksgiving to see how many people are in your house. Budish says an advisory is not perfect, but they had to do something. The community can't afford to do nothing. If the community does nothing, people are going to die. And Coast agrees there's no clear answer. Being more strict about it gets us back to more of a routine way of life. Well, maybe that's the right call. But Boris says the message to stay home when many restaurants need people to eat out is not right. They have no idea what are they doing to community. Now, the advisory is in effect right now until December 17th. It is important to note that Cuyahoga County and Cleveland are not alone in taking this action. Columbus, Dayton and their surrounding counties are also asking their residents to stay home. Reporting live in Cleveland tonight, Jesse Schultz, News 5.